broken fingers and grey hair from unbearable torture. Snipers of the USSR, who showed courage and bravery in WW2. Greetings. Today, we will talk about great girls and women who showed heroism and bravery during WO2. Is it true that the Germans poured boiling water on the faces of captured snipers? On the account of which heroine was more than 300 destroyed enemies? Behind which woman, who was called Mama Nina, went whole detachments of Soviet soldiers? Be sure to read the article to the very end to learn all the merits of our snipers. For this purpose, we have selected 10 of the most outstanding female snipers of WW2. Katya Baranova. Perhaps let's start with an outstanding girl sniper who had to endure torture from the Germans. Katya Baranova, before taking a rifle in her hands and going to the front, studied at the pedagogical school. Once, while performing a combat task, the girl was concussed. But soon, Katya recovered and returned to the ranks of snipers. Can you imagine what hatred the enemy showed towards the marksmen? A clear proof of this is the agony that Katya Baranova experienced when the Nazis took her prisoner. Fortunately, the agony did not last long, only two hours. After that, the girl managed to free herself by pure chance. A few meters away, a mine exploded, which destroyed the German detachment. But when Katya returned to our soldiers, they brought her to her senses for a long time. The girl further described what she had to go through. First, the Nazis beat her severely. Then, they broke her fingers with her own rifle. And finally, they poured boiling water on her face. From such traumas, Katya Baranova even turned grey. When our soldiers brought the girl to her senses, they noticed how her condition and mood in general changed. Obviously, after what happened, Katya could not shoot. Inna Mudritsova Agree that marksmanship skills clearly do not hurt before entering the sniper school. Inna Mudritsova, who not only killed 143 Nazis, but also shot down a German armoured car, had just such qualities. The girl managed to destroy enemy vehicles with the help of an anti-tank gun. It is also important that Inna, in the first two years after the beginning of WU2, performed the duties of training future snipers. And only in 1943, the girl went to the front. For several years, Inna Mudretsova received several wounds, and in 1945, she lost her arm. In addition to the art of mastering the art of marksmanship, the girl also possessed other skills. For example, carefully tracked the enemy in order to instantly destroy him. So, Inna once tracked down a German officer and eliminated him in a matter of minutes. Olga Vasilyeva This girl during the years of World War II was able to destroy 185 soldiers and officers of the Third Reich. Olga became a sniper in 1943 at the age of 22. The girl often had to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat when the enemy came close. It is known that Olga Vasilyeva was able to show quick reaction when she was the first to deliver a fatal blow with a finger to an enemy sniper. It is noteworthy that 1943 was the first and the last in the girl's sniper activity. This is due to the fact that Olga Vasilyeva was seriously wounded, after which she was demobilized. After the great victory, the girl returned to the medical institute, where she originally started studying and soon became a doctor. For her heroism, Olga received many awards, among which are the Order of the Red Star and the Order of the Patriotic War. Lyudmila Pavlichenko Surely many of you know or at least heard about this brave sniper. For a minute, on the account of Lyudmila Pavlichenko, 309 destroyed fascists. Not just so this girl was nicknamed Lady Death, and the press is seriously interested in this person. That is why a lot was written about Lyudmila and also filmed in the cinematography. The girl began her activity as a sniper at the age of 24. Then Lyudmila showed honor and bravery in the defense of Sevastopol and Odessa. The fortitude of such a sniper is not to be envied. She could be in an ambush and be undetected for 18 hours. 
Plus, Lyudmila was able to eliminate almost 30 German snipers during the years of WWE. She clearly did not feel the slightest mercy for the enemy, so she has such a worthy result. As you realize, the top leadership of the USSR after the war could not ignore Lyudmila Pavlichenko. First, she was awarded the Gold Star, after which the girl became a real hero of the USSR. Secondly, she was often sent to England and the USA to raise the spirit of Soviet soldiers, Ziba Ganyeva. Tell me honestly, have you ever heard about the first female sniper from Azerbaijan? If not, then we present you Ziba Ganyeva, who has about 130 destroyed enemies on her account. The girl went to the front as a volunteer in the first year of WW2. Few people know or remember, but it was Ziba Ganyeva who withstood the onslaught of the Germans and together with other fighters, fought back in one of the villages of the Leningrad region. We are talking about the battles for Bolshoya Vragovo. The girl was seriously wounded in the battle, because of which she had to spend 11 months in the hospital. Subsequently, Ziba received two orders from the government, the Red Banner and the Red Star. Nadezhda Kolesnikova. Please note that Nadezhda was not just a sniper, but also a volunteer. The girl went to the front in 1943. Although Nadezhda had not so many destroyed enemies on her account, only 19 soldiers, Kolesnikova was awarded a special medal for courage at the end of World War II. Rosa Shanina. When WWE began, Rosa was only 17 years old. Before leaving for a battalion or a reconnaissance company, the girl had to send two letters personally to Joseph Stalin. Finally, Rosa was given permission and the girl went to the front. Shanina, for several years of war, managed to destroy almost 60 enemy soldiers. To everything else, the girl received an unusual nickname, the Invisible Terror of East Prussia. And this is also the first female sniper who was awarded the Order of Glory. Valor and bravery Rosa Shanina showed in fierce battles in the capital of Lithuania, the city of Vilnius. Unfortunately, the girl did not live to see the end of World War II. On January 27, 1945, Rosa was seriously wounded by a shell fragment. The object damaged vital organs, which led to the imminent death of the Soviet sniper, Nina Lobkovskaya. As you well understand, many went to the front after the death of relatives and close people. Such a fate touched Nina Lobkovskaya, who lost her father in 1942. This girl during the years of the Great Patriotic War was remembered by many. For example, for all her activity as a sniper, Nina managed to eliminate up to 89 enemies. Also, Lobkovskaya reached the rank of lieutenant. Finally, the girl personally led a company of 100 women snipers in the battle for Berlin at the end of WW2, Olga Bordashevskaya. At first, this girl wanted to connect her life's work with literature. But after the beginning of the war, Olga went to work in the hospital and after it, she transferred to the sniper school. On the account of Bordashevskaya, about 108 destroyed fascists. That is why she is considered one of the best female snipers not only for the period of WW2, but also for the whole history. Interesting fact, Olga called her rifle Ivan Ivanovich, Nina Petrova. Here we are getting close to the female sniper with the highest age for that period. And all because Nina Pavlovna Petrova was 48 years old at the beginning of WW2. Despite her age, the woman was still accepted into the ranks of snipers. And, as it turned out, not in vain. On the account of Nina Pavlovna, 122 destroyed enemies. Many of our soldiers followed the woman and the sniper got an affectionate nickname, Mama Nina. Unfortunately, Nina Pavlovna did not become in peacetime after the end of the war. She died in a traffic accident. Conclusion. Thus, the contribution of women snipers of the USSR is really great. Thanks to them, our country really gave a significant repulse to Nazi Germany. 
That is why our snipers are honored with the highest awards and orders.